Okay, we need to test a series for convergence or divergence. And the summation n equals 1 to infinity, n squared, uh, 2 to the n minus 1, all over negative 5 to the n. So with the mixture of terms being raised to the n and polynomial term n squared, the ratio test is a good uh, test to try for this. And so for the ratio test, we need to look at the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n all inside an absolute value. Now here's a quick way to skip a couple algebraic steps. What we should do is recognize that there are three separate terms. We have n squared, uh, 2 to the n minus 1, and negative 5 to the n. If we were to divide a sub n plus 1 by a sub n, then what happens is we replace n by n plus 1, and we'd give each term their own fraction. So n plus 1 squared, 2, now be careful here, it's already n minus 1, so n plus 1 minus 1. Okay, and then um, in the denominator we have negative 5, and that's raised to the n plus 1. And then associated with each of these would be the, uh, the n term. So we have n squared 2 to the n minus 1, negative 5 to the n. Because when we divide by that um, fraction, a sub n uh, is a fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal. So that's why these terms end up in those places. Okay. Now we need to... Simplify with the exponential the terms that are exponential. Um, first off, we'll recognize this as uh, 2 to the n. Uh, this guy here is 2 to the n times 2 to the negative 1. Over here, we have negative 5 to the n times negative 5. That's going to help us do our cancellation. The 2 to the n from numerator and the 2 to the n from denominator will cancel. The negative 5 to the n from numerator and the negative 5 to the n from denominator will cancel. Lastly, we have to consider this n plus 1 quantity squared over n squared. As n goes to infinity, we recognize it simply as polynomial divided by another polynomial. If we wanted to, we could multiply out what n plus 1 quantity squared is. Essentially, we recognize that the highest power in the expo highest exponent uh, in the numerator is 2, the highest exponent in the denominator is 2. And if we're going to limit as the uh, variable is going off to infinity, we have the ratio of the coefficients. And so, uh, with both of these having 1 as their coefficients, this guy is just going to go to 1. So this guy's going to 1. Here we have a 2 to the negative 1 and a negative 5. Those are all the surviving terms. And so what we have is um, and we've done the limit already, and so we're looking at, and this is inside of absolute value. Let me go ahead and write the limit anyway. Um, 1 over 2 to the negative 1 times a negative 5. And what that is, is a uh, 2, this guy here, comes up top, he's a half, he comes up top as a 2, and then the 5 is in the denominator, absolute value makes a negative 5 into a 5, and so that is the limit, which is less than 1, and so the conclusion of the ratio test is that when you... Uh, find this limit L, and it's less than 1, and positive, then uh, the, uh, the series will converge. So therefore, 
um, this series converges by the ratio test. Very good.